I decided to take a nap on my floor, but now's not the time for that. There's a thing staring at us! What is that? Wait, it's midnight? That's impossible. It was nine o'clock and I saw this big flash of light outside. Did you guys just see that? You saw the light too? Yeah, and the thing that's standing in our... Wait. It's gone. I'm not talking about that. Didn't you see I had three spoons balanced on my nose at the same time? Don't tell me you missed that. What? No, we're not concerned about that. There was some sort of alien thing here. Aliens? Really? Everyone knows aliens aren't real. Breaking news! Aliens are real! Told ya. The people of Bentley are being terrorized by these alien creatures every single day. But fear not, because with my book, Aliens Are Truth and Real, available today on Amazon, you will learn everything you need to know about protecting yourself against these beasts! For example, in chapter one, if you read right here, <clears throat> you will see that it says that you will be protected against aliens if you are wearing tinfoil, which, believe it or not, you can get your own tinfoil Jensen brand at Amazon.com. I made mine into a potato head. Alien sightings all over Bentley? My memory's kind of fuzzy, but I think I might have been abducted. You sound like an idiot right now, and you look like one too. How did you do that so fast? Ah! What was that? It sounded like Tove. Are you okay? No, I, I, I think I just got abducted by aliens. Th they had me on an operating table. Wait, it's coming back to me. I think that's what happened to me. S something weird's going on here. Okay, well, you're not gonna feel any better just sitting alone in the dark. Don't touch the lights! Why not? Because I like the dark. Now, come over here, I have to show you something. Who are you talking to? Wait, if he's here, then who were we talking to? Ah! Alien! Who was that? Alien! Guys, why is there someone laying in my bed? Like, who is that? Alien! Okay, Ryan. I'm watching too much Jensen. Okay, I, I have an idea, actually. Wait, 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 wait. Anthony, we are in a crisis! What are you doing? I'm calling Area 51 to have them come pick up their child! Ooh, while you have them on the phone, can you ask them where my package is? What did you order? What the heck? Guys, my phone's not doing anything. I don't have a phone. Mine's not working either. Oh, you see that? What is that? I think it's some sort of message. Oh, wait, no, actually, um, for some reason my television always does this. It just likes to show me people eating corn. And I'm not complaining. What? Our phones aren't working. We can't call for help. I know what we need to do. Usually when we get into these situations, one of us has to be the sacrifice. And I kind of think that it should be you. You think it should be me? I know it should be you. Why me? It's always me! Because I don't want to be the sacrifice! Toph, who should be the sacrifice? Uh, is it? Toph? Guys? Where did you go? I was, I was paralyzed and there was an alien. He was right here. I swear he was right here. No, no one was here. We were standing here the whole time. But it felt so real. The alien, it must have gotten into your head. Who knows what else it could do? Wait, 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 wait. It got you. Uh, and then it got you. Oh, oh, dear God, I'm next. But not if I have this. Where did you even get that? Do you just carry that around with you? From Jensen's tinfoil.net. He said it's the only defense against aliens. You really think the tinfoil's gonna help you? Huh. Why do you say it like that? Because nothing can save you. We're gonna get you, Anthony. We always get what we want. Oh! 
Okay, that's great. Um, hold that thought. <laughs> Dad, you gotta help me! Why? Listen, there's an alien in the house and it's messing with us. It abducted Ryan, it got in Tove's head, and now it's after me! You don't have to worry about that. Uh, yeah, I think I do! Listen, I've got the perfect hiding spot that no alien could ever find. Come with me. Okay. Has anyone seen the tinfoil? I'm trying to make a grilled cheese sandwich. Dad? But if you're here, then... <gasps> Excuse me, I'm standing right here. Anthony, don't listen to him. Come with me. I'm your real dad. Oh, what a relief. Thank God I don't have a loser son like you. Come on, Anthony. Open the door. Let me in. You go have fun with your real dad. I'm gonna go look for more tinfoil. He's gone. No! 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 <gasps> Jensen Whistleblower! It's Whistle Bottom! And I would have gotten away with it too if it weren't for you meddling kids! Uh, I'm pretty sure it's Whistleblower. Why are you doing this? Well, twice a week I go around town in Bentley scaring people into believing in aliens. This way I sell more copies of my books and tinfoil. So this is all just a big prank? Well, yes. Aliens aren't real. <laughs> I'm just in it for the money! Wait, how did you take over my mind? You literally abducted me! Yeah, and you transformed into my dad! What? No, see, I just showed up about a minute ago, did some strangling, and then I got hit with a shovel! Wait, so... If that wasn't you, then... That means... <laughs> you guys right now? You sound nutso! There is no such thing as aliens! <laughs> huh. Okay, so, um... We're all in agreement that aliens are real, right? Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. And when we tell people about this, we're telling them that I knocked out an alien with a shovel. Fair enough. Rest in peace, Jensen Whistleblower. Click the top box on screen if you want to see us play Into the Back Rooms. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give us a like, leave us a comment, and subscribe for more. We'll see you guys again next week. Bye guys.